So welcome to my review of my new Meturk multimeter. I'm quite pleased with this, and I'm particularly pleased with the clamp for measuring current, although you'll see it does have its limitations in the battery compartment. It takes three A3 batteries. There are the leads, reasonably solid with nice protective tips, temperature probe, batteries, and manual. And so all I have to do is fit the batteries, and it's ready to go. Lots of different things. There we are. That's unlocked now. So out it comes. And the batteries go in there. Clearly marked which way around they all go. It sits back on top like that. There we go. And lock it closed. Good. So, I'll turn to off at the moment. Let's turn it to the Temperature measuring scale. Plug in the thermocouple. At the moment it's just reading something pretty random because there's no thermocouple connected. So I'll put it in the right way round. So it now says 27 degrees. That's centigrade. I need to change it to Fahrenheit. How do we change it to Fahrenheit? That's better. 80 degrees. Right. Now let's see if we can find the end of it. Here it is. Well, I'm just going to clamp it between my fingers. And it's gone up to 95 degrees. Um, obviously, when I go up to 98.6 on your fingers, because they're not really core temperature but uh, shows that it's responding that's the voltage range Put these in it's measuring AC right okay yes so it's measuring naught at the moment because this is measuring AC so I'll click on select now it's measuring DC One point six, good. That's all right then. So you press the select button and you have to look at the display and it'll tell you if it's AC or DC and it's auto ranging this particular one. There we are. So I'm now going to set it back to AC and we'll stick these in and see if we can measure any voltage in here. Be a bit careful with this because I'm obviously measuring mains voltage. Two hundred and forty, good. Well, that's brilliant. I wonder what happens. If I so let's go back to this range here and see what it says. It says auto. So if I press select, what happens? So I think it's now gone on to resistance measuring. So if I touch these two together, it's measuring continuity. Good. OK, so let's press select again. Now it's measuring uh, a diode. So Anything it reads will be pretty random because it's obviously not measuring a diode. And that's gone back to auto. Press again. Okay. So it's measuring um, resistance. So if I put that on there. I'll go back down to virtually nothing. Press again, and now back to the buzzing one. Okay, so diode auto. I don't know what that is. Oh, now okay, so that's capacitance. Right, that's capacitance. Even when they're close to each other, they're not really making a capacitor. So that all looks quite good, really. So, um. I don't think I've got anything I can use to check the current measuring at the moment. And you see here there's uh, 600 um, amps. So I took it out into the garage and clamped it round one of the wires coming into my house and measured the current my house was drawing at the time. 
which is about 0.2 amps, just under 0.2 amps, which is about right for what we were doing. If you put it around something like a kettle lead, it'll measure nothing because the negative, uh, sorry, the neutral and live lines cancel each other out. And there's just some pictures of the instrument.